Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, March 4th, and look behind me, look all around me. It snowed. It's March 4th. Snow on the ground. Winter waited until now to dump all its snow. We had a pretty mild winter as far as snow goes. Temperatures were cold, but the snow decided to hold off until spring's two weeks away. It's usually how it works. Um, yeah, so we probably got about eight to ten inches of snow, and it's not the light snow. It is hard, uh, heavy, wet snow. It is just everywhere. I mean, look at this. I'll, look at this. Um, hold on. I'll turn you guys around. Look at this snowbank. That's in front of my driveway. I have to take all of that out. It's a good thing I have a snowblower because that is some deep, heavy crap right there. And there's my road. It's probably just wide enough for one car to fit down. It is nasty, but it's really, really pretty, as you can tell. So I'm gonna try to put this on a time lapse, stick it on my car, and see if I can uh, capture some cool moments of snow. There's a volunteer fire department, which is always handy to have 1,500 feet away from your house. But yeah. This is really cool, huh? Looks really pretty. Winter in New England is always a pretty sight. It's just when you don't expect it the first week of March. All right, guys, I'm gonna get uh, snow blow in the driveway here. All right, don't mind the messy garage. Actually, don't look. I'm kidding. So there's the beast, the Toro Power Max, 26 inches wide. I don't even know, 15 horsepower. Something like that. I like it because it has electric start. But this thing is a beast. It has this um, system on it where if it has too much snow in the hopper, it actually recirculates it around and back in and then goes back out so it doesn't ever really bog down. It's fantastic. My steed is waiting for me. It's going, this snow sucks. I need you to ride me. And then my project car. Anybody want a 1993 Saab convertible? Needs a little bit of work. It runs, but needs some work. Let me know. I will gladly part with it. I already have another Saab right here. I would like another one, but I'm kind of a Saab addict. Anyways, I need to clear these cars off before I even attempt to do the driveway because once I start plowing the driveway, if I forget, if I forget to clean all the cars off then it's just a royal mess and um, Connecticut now has a law that if you don't clean all the snow off your car that it's a two hundred and seventy dollar fine which is uh, which is a good thing because there are so many people that drive around with snow on their cars and it just blows off or turns into ice and then hits somebody's windshield and could either you know cause a serious accident or death or both but uh, alright guys I think I've uh, I think I procrastinated long enough. Time to uh, time to get time to get cleaning. Oh yeah, by the way, United States Army. And yes, I did vote for Trump. I'm very proud of it. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys. So I just I just finished snow blowing. I think it took me like two and a half hours to get done. I believe that's the longest it's taken me in a long time. There's so the snow is just so freaking heavy today, and it's and it's getting warmer, so it's getting heavier and heavier. And um, the good thing is that's melting pretty quick on the driveway, so that's a big help. But I do need to go get some salt because it's going to freeze and uh, that's just an ugly situation when there's an icy driveway and icy stairs so off to get ice or off to get salt pretty soon and um, I'll talk to you soon okay so let me ask you a question you pay the town to do certain services for you with your taxes that you pay every year for your uh, property taxes and one of them is snow removal well 
our snow removal is contracted out because our town is so small. We only have one town plow truck. So the state will do the state roads, and then the town contractors will do this the side roads, which is my road. They do one side of the road. The plow guy will come down our road and do one side of the road, and he'll leave and not come back. So the end of our road, instead of being open on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, is now only open on the right-hand side partially to get, like, maybe one car down the road. So I have to come out here every single time there's a snowstorm. And then what I do is I is I clean the side of the road with my snowblower. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Ready? So right here, you can obviously tell that that has been done by a snowblower and not a plow. And then over here on this side of the road, I actually did that too but that's where the plow usually just goes right through and finishes his job. Every single snowstorm. It's absolutely horrible. And I live in such a small town that the old boy network is in control. So if you're not a original resident or best buddies with the first electman, you're not going to get the job though plow the roads so I put a post on Facebook complaining about this today and then three or uh, three more showed up after I did it complaining about the same exact thing on their roads in completely different parts of town so it's not just me it's the contractors we're hiring are absolutely lazy so this is more like turning into a a bitching blog instead of a snow day blog vlog but uh anyways i will see you guys a little later Thanks,